Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 116 of 2021, appointing Sheikh Ahmed bin Isa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa as Under Secretary for Ports and Maritime Affairs at the Transportation and Telecommunications Ministry. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received at Rafah Palace the chairman of the Muharraq Sports Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, members of the board, football team players, as well as the club's technical and administrative staff on the occasion of the club's winning the Asian Cup for the second time. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Muharraq Club's victory reflects Bahrain's spirit of determination and competition. He noted that the achievements made in the sports sector on the regional and global levels are a product of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He congratulated the Muharraq Sports Club on the occasion, commending the sports skills of the players, which is an international standard, as confirmed by the recent success. His Royal Highness noted that this achievement would not have been possible without the concerted efforts and determination of the Muharraq Sports Club's technical and administrative staff, as well as the players. His Royal Highness expressed thanks to the players of the Muharraq Sports Club and to the Bahraini fans who supported the club all the way to its victory, and which the club further success in future competitions. His Royal Highness also commended the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in developing the Bahraini sports sector and providing the support required to make further achievements. For his part, Sheikh Ahmed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his support to the sports sector, which has led to this achievement. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued an email to all public sector employees. In his communication, His Royal Highness encouraged public sector employees to partake in the government innovation competition, Fikra. He noted that the innovation ideas generated by the competition could form the basis of future developments. His Royal Highness noted that the competition aims to encourage creativity and innovation among government sector employees to improve government efficiency and advance the kingdom's development. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his constant care and keenness towards humanitarian work, as well as his support to the Royal Humanitarian Foundation. On the occasion, the RHF's 20 anniversary, years anniversary, the foundation organized a forum attended by His Highness, as well as officials from GCC and Arab countries, and also patronized by His Highness. His Highness praised the Kingdom's march in the humanitarian field and its keenness to provide help to those in need and provide them with high living standards. The Secretary General of the RHF, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and praised the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard. He also praised the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser.
The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the president of the Bahrain Motor Federation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa. The reception comes in line with His Highness's support to sports bodies to encourage them to implement plans and programs that contribute to developing sports and athletes levels. His Highness welcomed the president of BMF, expressing appreciation for the efforts exerted by the federation, which developed plans and programs programs that will achieve further progress in motorsports. His Highness was, was briefed on the future plans that will be implemented by the Federation in the coming period, expressing aspiration that efforts to develop Bahraini sports will continue. For his part, the President of BMF expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his vital role in serving the sports sector, affirming that the Federation will continue its efforts to develop the sports system at all levels. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa was keen on attending and supporting the national basketball team in its match against Iran for the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup qualification. The match was attended by the deputy president of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the CEO of GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, the Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Al Nasaf, and the president of Bahrain Basketball Association. Walid Al Alawi, as well as a number of the association's affiliates. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed keenness on supporting all teams participating in various events and championships to boost their morale and encourage them to compete for the best results. The Speaker of the Representatives Council and Head of the Parliamentary Delegation participating in the 143rd IPU session for Ziya Zainal met with a number of counterparts including the Moroccan Speaker of the House of Representatives, Rashid Al Alami, the Moroccan Speaker of the House of Advisors, Naam Mayara, uh, Pakistan Senate Chairwoman, Georgia Parliament Speaker, Zimbabwe National Assembly Speaker, IPU President, IPU Former President and IPU Secretary General. She affirmed the importance of building legislative partnerships and strengthening parliamentary relations with other countries and highlighted the kingdom's status at the Arab regional and international levels. The meeting discussed means of enhancing joint parliamentary action and stressed the keenness of the legislative branch in Bahrain to cooperate with various parliaments across the world. The Chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, met with the Grand Imam of Al Azhar al Sharif, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, where he conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Grand Imam. The Grand Imam expressed deep appreciation for the Kingdom of Bahrain and requested Sheikh Abdul Rahman to convey his greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The two sides praised the cooperation between the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and Al Azhar al Sharif and then discussed topics of common interest. 
on the sidelines of his participation in the meetings of the General Assembly of the UN World Tourism Organization in Madrid. The Ministry, Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaida Zayani, discussed with the Secretary General of the UNWTO the means of bolstering cooperation between the two sides. Zayani affirmed the Kingdom's support to the efforts of the WTO in order to achieve economic recovery and stressed the importance of international cooperation in this regard. The two sides discussed a number of topics related to the tourism sector as well as empowering women in the sector as well as future plans. Zayani briefed the Secretary General of the plans of the Kingdom to enhance the tourism sector and the local production. For his part, the UNWTO Secretary General affirmed his keenness on increasing communication with Bahrain to discuss various issues related to the tourism sector. The Minister of Information Ali Ramehi praised the wise vision of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in leading Team Bahrain in overcoming the repercussion of the pandemic effectively, as well as enhancing the achievements of the kingdom, ensuring the health and safety of its people, and achieving sustainability to the reform project of His Majesty the King. He held a speech delivering, delivered by His Royal Highness during the WHO's World Health Assembly special session, which showcased Bahrain's ability in turning challenges into opportunities represented in facing the pandemic, supporting digital transformation, and supporting affected sectors. He affirmed the commitment of the national media in delivering its messages transparently and advising citizens and residents to combat fake news. Romehi affirmed that Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, will continue its sustainable development march, economic recovery through various projects and strategies, as well as attract investments, diversify oil and non-oil resources, and provide more job opportunities opportunities for citizens in order to enhance social and economic stability and achieve financial balance by 2024. The Representatives Council held its weekly meeting chaired by the second deputy speaker by Ali Zayed, in which the council approved a decree by law on alternative penalties. The council also approved a draft law on amending some laws regarding passports, and the Representatives Council also approved the report of the National Audit Office for the year 2019 to 2020.